Welcome to the Vertex Data Registry, a registry for clinical interventional radiology. The IR data captured in the registry can be used for tracking patient outcomes, improving patient care, and benchmarking against other programs. Let's navigate to the patient list. Here is where you can see all the patients at your site. To see more information about a single patient, click into the patient record. Here you can see both patient and procedure data. Note that the data within the registry will be pre-populated with data from your reporting system. There are over 30 updated templates available from SIR that are compatible with a variety of dictation systems, which seamlessly import data into the registry. This data is automatically ingested into the registry from your reporting system in EHR, so no manual input is necessary. Let's look at the procedure data. Each row on the table on the left is a separate procedure. Again, all of this will be imported already via your reporting system in EHR. Click on a procedure to see more details. If you scroll down on any procedure, you will see the raw dictation from your dictation tool. Coming soon is a feature to search the data within the procedure. The remaining tabs at the top of the page of service requests, conditions, and medications will come from your EHR at a later phase. New tabs will also be added for things such as lab data. Let's navigate back to the patient list. To search the patient list, select the magnifying glass button in the top right of the page. Here you can search for a subset of patients based on patient or procedure data. Select the search criteria using these filters and select enter to populate the patient list. Next, let's navigate to the reports. Reports can be found by selecting the trend chart icon on the left of the screen. There are a variety of reports, each with user-friendly graphics and the ability to view your data in multiple ways and benchmark against other facilities and peer groups. Let's begin with the measure scorecard. Within the report, you can filter based on your site, facility, or procedure date. The measures are grouped by section, including registry events, radiation, contrast, anesthesia, and MIPS. To see more information about the data shown, hover your cursor over the trend line to see additional details. To dig into a particular measure group, travel to the detailed reports, which can be found by clicking Learn More. This is the detailed report for registry events. Registry events are intra-procedural complications. Here you can see high-level metrics about how your site is doing, as well as filter by specific procedure types and names. Once you've narrowed down your data set, click on the bar chart to see how the registry events trended over time. Additionally, below you can see more details about device failures, as well as specific rates for various event types. In a future phase, we will also be introducing a search function, as well as the ability to run additional reports from the data. Lastly, you can export the data shown here in a variety of formats using the download button on the bottom of the screen. Next, let's navigate to the radiation details report by clicking the trend chart icon on the left of the screen. Here you can see a radiation dose comparison over time. Again, you have a variety of filters including site, facility, procedure date, and trending interval. You can select a specific procedure you want to learn more about. Again, to export the data shown, click the download button on the bottom of the screen. Let's look at the contrast detailed report next. Here, you can see the average contrast volume trended over time for the selected sites. Hover your cursor over the trend chart to see the specific values. Again, you can select your procedure type and procedure name. Click the bar icon of the average contrast volume by procedure to see a trend chart over time. Additionally, we show the contrast volume distribution at your site. Next, we'll turn to the comparison report. This report is especially helpful when benchmarking against other sites and facilities. You can select your measure of interest and see it trended over time. Below, you'll see how your site compares to all SIR sites and facilities. Additional site and provider comparisons will be coming soon. Lastly, the Vertex registry is growing quickly. We have a variety of measure categories and dashboards planned for the future, including data on devices, labs, and procedure times. Additionally, we also plan to add patient reported outcomes and create new measures and dashboards from the registry data.